What is up guys, don't forget to subscribe, check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. Before you even do this, double check everything that I say because things could update in dreams to where you might not have to do this or this could be changed altogether and you'll end up deleting things that you can't get back. So make sure, make sure, make sure. I'm gonna talk about the risks of doing this. I'm gonna talk about how to do this and I'm also gonna talk about how to get your content back if you need to back it up. So this is all essential and important to making long games and dreams and I'm gonna explain why. So first, 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 what you'll wanna do is make sure that you have your dream saved online, either as unlisted, unlisted, or saved as private. I recommend private because if you save it as unlisted, then if you have an asset or element or used a creation from somebody else and it's in your dream, they're gonna get a notification for it. I don't think they'll be able to edit it or anything like that, but they will be able to play it. They will be able to stream it online and show other people. And if that's a problem to you, then you need to save it as private because to my knowledge, nobody can play it. If you save it as private as unlisted, they can at least play it. They can at least play it. Here's how you save it as unlisted. You go to edit. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. I'm Young Tech's YouTube on the Dreamverse. Follow me there if this helps and follow me here on YouTube if you just enjoy the content and you enjoy the tutorials. So what you'll want to do is after you've hit the edit mode and you're in this part of the game, press options on your controller. Go to save version go to save version go to save this version online as private and then it should be updated to the media molecule servers from this point from this point you are safe to delete your thing off of your local save space so here's how you do that after you saved it online you'll go up here to delete local saves and the space used, local space, uh, how many games you, you've created or some uh, things you've created. You're free to choose the one that you've uploaded and you're free to delete it. Now here are the risks before we even continue on how to back up stuff or retrieve it. Here are the risks to making big games and dreams. You, if, if there's something controversial that you've created in your dream and somebody, somebody, um, and you don't even know it's controversial, because you may have seen other people do stuff like it, and for some reason, your your yours got picked out of the out of the out of the haystack for to get deleted. If it's not backed up on your local save save space, and it gets deleted off of the media molecule servers, then there's no way for you to get that back, and that's the risk of making long big games and dreams that I feel like nobody is talking about that. I believe that this is gonna be updated in the future. I believe that they did this. So there's more of an incentive to update, upload more stuff to dreams, to upload more games to dreams because the dream verse is gonna to have to be filled with content whenever dreams PS4 releases. So that way people have stuff to play. I think that's the reason why they did this. It could have something to do with this all tying into the uh, in dreams website. I, I, I don't know, but hopefully that's this this gets raised because one gig is not that much and you really want your long especially your long games to be backed up the stuff that you put your heart and soul into you don't want somebody to just come around and be all like no so and, and it, it could just you don't know why they do it um Especially if there's like if there's nothing wrong with it and something like that happens and we've seen it happen already before and the only reason somebody was able to get it back is because they had it on their local save space, but local save space you can't even make that many long dreams if you're making a long game a long game and you really want to like if you want to build an audience you want as many games as possible, in my opinion or as many um as many creations as possible so that way there's more of a chance people are gonna see it so. That's the risk, and that's just pretty much it. If you save it online as unlisted, I, I know I've already uh, touched upon this, then, you know, everybody else, uh, you know, that used the assets that you brought assets from will be able to see it. I'm just restating what I said because I just want you guys to have this stuff nailed in your head. And again, all this could update and change, so double check what I say. 
Now let's go on to the last topic of how to recover stuff. Um, because sometimes, especially whenever you've put everything inside of a dream, sometimes it'll revert back to a previous uh, version that you created from maybe a week ago, and you'll feel like you have to restart from that point. You really don't as long as you've saved it and you like you save like you save periodically within your game and you should be able to retrieve the latest version that you've actually done and if your system just happens to turn off there's like this instant auto backup thing at least for me um that pops up so that's also needs to be known too that there's an instant auto backup or there's some kind of um crash within the game so here's the other way there's two ways to auto back up. I'm going to show you the most, um, the most, uh, the best way to do it first. Then I'm going to show you the other way. What you want to do is after you clicked on it, and you're on this menu. You want to scroll over, go to versions and releases, and you can just click on the one that you want to edit uh, to pretty much uh, use. Then you'll want to edit uh, edit it and just save it, and it should overwrite and take it back to. Uh, the version that's the most updated and you can pretty much tell by the dates down here which version is updated you just got you just got to pretty much save periodically to get this and then um that's pretty much it the other way to get to this window is if, if, if you have a dream go to edit go to update update to a specific version and it pretty much takes you to the same window and you can choose your version I've noticed that happens to me a lot, and I feel like that's going to be extremely useful, especially if you're making long games, because stuff like that does happen. So, this is pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope this helps you guys with your creations. Tell me if this updates in the comment section below, so that way people can actually get the help that they need and all that great stuff. And peace out, guys. Uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day.